I've had a lot of people ask me over the years whether they should use open strings or whether it's cool in particular situations and not cool in others. There is a lot of nuance to the issue and the type of music you're playing can have an impact too. In this video, we're going to go through when it's probably cool to use open strings, when it's probably questionable, and one open string choice you're almost never gonna wanna make. Okay, so the nature of the open string sound, it's pretty open, right? So let's play an open D. Or pluck an open D. And let's contrast that with a closed D. Definitely way more covered. That's the big difference. Open strings is have the most open, resonant kind of sound on the bass, and they just sound different than other notes. So if we take a C major scale, let's play open D and let's play open G, and let's see how that sounds. So there's a bit of a difference. It may come through more or less clearly depending on what you're listening to this on, but the open string just has a little bit of a different character. Now I can mask that to an extent by lightening up on the bow and I've learned how to do that and most people do over the years, but there's just a different character and it's the same if we play pizzicato. Now, you might be totally fine with that, depending on what type of music you're playing, or especially if it's fast, the the fact that it's open becomes much less obvious, and the... So, the main reason to not use open strings is just that there's that change in quality of the sound. And if we played another one octave scale, let's say D flat major, where we have no open strings now, that sounds much more consistent than that C major scale does. So we can then just close the notes for the C major scale. And we get a much more consistent tone quality. So that's the, that's the by and large why you might not want to use open strings. Also, basses tend to be a lot brighter on open strings, and that's true for all string instruments. And even a style like slap bass, and I'm no slap bass excerpt, you will hear a bit of a difference. It will also depend on if you're playing different types of strings, like and the type of string you're playing, like a gut string, an unwound gut versus these modern steel strings or something in between with different materials, that's all going to have an impact on the quality of the open string too. So you might want to use them or not want to use them. Now if we're talking orchestra and being a part of a bass section and wanting to fit in and blend, if you can close an open string, you're probably going to want to close an open string. But there's more to it than that. So we have E. We are not closing E. And even if we have an extension like this, I almost never see anybody close that E unless they're doing something involved where they have to uh, play down here. Then, okay, you have to close the E. So E is cool. You can play E open, you will play E open. And the same is true for anything down here on the extension. I mean, that's why we have these little closers. We're generally not vibrating down there, and that's just what we do. A is a little bit more of a debatable one. And it depends on the orchestra a lot of the time. I know that many orchestral players almost always use open A, and part of that is that this A on the, on the E string, depending on the bass, it can be a little bit wolfy or muffled or just a little bit funny. And if you got eight bass players all trying to tune that A and one of the basses is responding a little bit weird, having open A, that's, that's, that's usually pretty cool. Now D, most of the time in orchestra, you are going to close D. I rarely play open D in an orchestral situation, unless it's like the finale to Beethoven 9 and we're down here. 
something like that. Yeah, that's cool. But generally, we're not going to play too many open Ds. And the note that is almost never <laughs> cool to play is open G in an orchestral situation. For whatever reason, you'd think that G would be a great note on the bass, like the open G, but I found that a lot of basses actually have a little bit of wolfiness to the open G. And that open G has just got this strident sound. It's the equivalent of the violin E string. If you ever hear a violinist play an open E, it's only if they're trying to do some sort of like folksy thing. I think the same is true for bass. If we're play playing something that's really just sort of trying to sound like folk music, yeah, maybe open G is cool. But for most orchestral uh, circumstances, open G is not uh, super cool. Solo playing, actually, you will use a little bit more G, especially if you're doing something that's kind of, uh, in the key of G, or G is one of the fundamental notes, you can find that the open G can can work great, and actually it's a it's an attractive quality to the piece. A lot of bass players play Paganini's uh, Moses Fantasy on the G string, originally written for violin, but on bass, and that's all about just playing everything on the G string, including lots of open G. If you play Bottazzini, you're gonna play a whole bunch of harmonics and open Gs, stuff like. <laughs> And that kind of thing. Yeah, then we're, we're, we want the open string to ring. That's that's cool. But that's a solo situation. For orchestral playing, open G, ugh, not so great. And I think that most of this applies to jazz as well. And I'm not much of a jazz bass player, but I, I play one on the internet occasionally and I talk to a lot of them. So, you know, if we were playing like... This has got a little bit of a different sound. That's got a little more similarity. And one spot where you're probably not going to want to do open strings is when you are going from a half step below or above to what would be an open string. So if we take an example, kind of like what I just played. There's this flangey kind of character that you get with, with the bass when you play open string after a closed note. Versus. And it just doesn't sit well for a lot of people's musical palettes. Now, as the tempo increases, open strings become much more acceptable. If you're playing something like any sort of scale or passage, I think even open G becomes fair game, depending on the tempo. So a lot of this is just taste and experience. And if you're in an orchestral section and maybe you're one of the less uh, experienced players, look at the principal, look at the other players, see what they're doing. And if they're not playing open strings, probably a good idea to not play open strings. Even if I'm closing the G, or the D or any of these, I am paying attention to the open string and making sure that it is ringing. And I've done a whole video about ringing notes and getting your intonation really dialed in, which I will link up to here. Check it out and we'll see you there.